And welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command, or Rapid Plus Mod. I am Admiral Tirak of the battleship GCS Chumper. As we continue, well, the end game of the campaign against the Romulan Star Empire. As you can see, there are a grand total of four tiles left. So let's jump into things and try and end this today. If we're lucky, uh, we'll get four really easy missions and uh, be totally done. If not, well, there'll be a super short episode tomorrow. So let's see how that works out. So loading, red alert, shuttles. Prep that. Increase speed. Shields to the maximum. And uh, no, no, that, 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 one. just, just, just that one. Thank you. And uh, of course, shield shut off the gosh darn point defense. We're not fighting the Mirak. Uh, increase our speed to 15, and we have a target. It is a single frigate. What is an excellent target to deal with. I am anticipating another vessel to show up somewhere around here, simply because I refuse to believe the game would send only a frigate after us. But maybe it has. You never know. After all, there's not a whole heck of a lot left to the Romulan Star Empire. But nope, there it is. It is a light cruiser. So nothing we really care about. Uh, yeah, the Romulan Empire is down to four tiles. I don't think there are any star bases left on those tiles. I don't think there are any space uh, planets left on that tile. So with that in mind, yeah, they probably can't really afford to get much. This is the last few uh, admirals that are admirals, captains, and other members of the Romulan Senate who have managed to sneak off on single frigates and are only just being hunted down one by one by the indomitable battle group of, a c of Gorn battleships. Yeah, the amount of firepower we bring to bear is absolutely hilarious for the sorts of battles we're actually fighting. Uh, we're going to keep prepping wild weasels. Uh, we may not even need to stop back home for the rest of this war, which would be a good thing. It's an SKX. It is, of course, armed with two S-type plasma torpedoes, which is pretty significant. But you'll notice something that it does not have. Yep, that's right. It doesn't have plasma Ds. So I'm deploying my pseudo fighters just to add in their little weight to the firepower. I am, of course, going to come in here and tell him to only shoot on my command. Unfortunately, the enemy has cloaked. And a cloaked enemy is an annoying enemy, because a cloaked enemy is an invisible enemy to certain sensor systems and visualness, which means it's hard to get locks, which means you can't fire weapons like plasma torpedoes at him. Fortunately, he has decided to play fair and come out of cloak, so at a range of 15, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, I want to make sure it's got enough firepower to make you terrified plasma torpedo. And he did cloak. You jerk. Just, just to see if it works. Come on, go all the way in. It did. 11 damage got through that shield. Unfortunately, he is cloaked, and so we can't fire it anymore. And his buddy is showing up as fast as he can. Which, this is actually probably a really good time to be doing the delaying tactics. Uh, that's gonna Wild Weasel right now. No, he didn't get it out in time. So, uh, ooh, he also managed to hurt my forward port shield quite badly. However, pseudo fighters have got our back firing into him, basically gutting half of his ship. Uh, we're looking at shocked S-type plasma torpedoes, and this one is pretty much offline altogether. Uh, you are still not quite in range, but you are pretty, well, not super well-armed. You've got potentially 80 damage in plasma torpedoes, but it's all super short-range F-type plasma torpedoes. Uh, let's hope that our pseudo-fighters get away before the, uh, potential damage of that comes in. There we go. Light cruiser's taken out, or, no, not the light cruiser, that was a frigate. The Lunas Duo. Uh, yeah, let's, let's stop and, uh, let those plasma torpedoes not hit us. And we'll lay into him with our stern weaponry. Of course, our uh, port rear shield has apparently collapsed, for reasons, and we've even lost one of our pieces of equipment, so let's come in here and make sure that we are repaired. We, after all, do not want to uh, waste any time on that one. We have an S-type plasma torpedo. If he comes around to this arc, it looks like he's going to. <laughs> uh, fire it. Yeah, there we go. A nice, excellent shot into his stern, and pseudo fighters just bringing so much additional firepower to the table. It's lovely. We'll continue repairs just so that we have repairs going on. An RR-type plasma torpedo will be ready to fire, and by the time it makes it there, I'm going to assume he will no longer be protected by the Wild Weasel, so fire! And then, as soon as this one's ready, it will also fire, because the attack shift is already gone. Fire another one, and if you survive this, I will be quite surprised. Yeah. Goodbye! They tried. They, they actually managed to deal more damage to us than uh, anybody was able to in last episode. They, they managed to get through and damage a Phaser 3. Good job, guys. Y you tried and got so far. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't help. Yeah, as you can see, the last three tiles, we can see all their tiles at this point, and there is no more stations or planets for the Romulans. We are just hunting down the remnants of an empire, a once grand, powerful, and proud empire, now down to nothing but some empty space that we just need to clean up of their mess. 
The lizard people have succeeded over the warm-blooded mammals. Never forget that, people. The lizards are obviously the superior creature. Able to think calm, cool, collected, not ruled by their emotions like the silly Romulans. I was about to say Vulcans, but no. Vulcans have fully controlled their uh, emotions, and they're part of the Federation. It would be kind of weird if the Gorn were actually fighting them. At least in this universe. In the movie universe, yeah, Gorn and Federation hate each other, apparently. In uh, this universe, not so much. It looks like we're looking at a Klingon heavy cruiser. However, it's probably a technology transfer. Uh, and yes, it is. As you can see by the, uh, the bird-like paint job on the back, this is actually a Romulan version. So uh, let's find out exactly what kind of Romulan version. I'm not seeing anything else, so it looks like he's managed to put all his points into a single heavy cruiser. Uh, just double check, make sure that forward shield is being reinforced. It is, and the Wow Weasel is a going. We're going to come in and do the same thing as we always do. Uh, also, only fire on my command. Wow, that's, that's your armament. Okay, good job, buddy. First Wow Weasel's ready. Let's uh, immediately prep a second. We probably won't need it. He's only got five hard points. <laughs> He's got five hard points, a grand total of seven phasers and two plasma torpedoes. That's just... That's just pitiful. Prepare an R-type plasma torpedo. We will fire it at... Uh, we'll probably, at the same time he fires his plasma torpedo, start to slow down. I would like to continue to be chugging forward before I actually dump my weapons. He's fired one. Let's wait for the second. Wait for it. There it is. And now we'll hit the wild weasel. He did decide to eat that one in the nose. And we'll fire our second plasma torpedo right now. Hopefully get some damage in here. Ooh, he cloaked enough so that the Wild Weasel was there. Uh, he has, of course, deployed his Wild Weasel now, so now he is vulnerable. And will be prepared to fire everything that we've got. Just come out of cloak, my friend. Just for a moment, it won't hurt that much. The heat will burn away all your nerves before you can feel it. We're basically right on top of him. And uh, our buddy is basically in the right direction, too. The r Plasma Torpedo should have no problem actually seeing that. Uh, to the point where... Um, Hi. Uh, are you going to speed up enough for it? Uh, did we deal damage to ourselves? We might have. I don't see anything offline, but <laughs> I did hear the thunk, and I don't think it was just hitting that. Come on. Come out of cloak so we can kill you. This is... I dislike you greatly. Come out of cloak. You know you want to. Okay, you don't want to, but you don't have a choice. Just... Just end it. There we go. All up and select. All up and fire. And another wild weasel. So we'll slow down again. And uh, we thought about this. We had a we had a contingency plan for this. So wait for the command the attack shift to go away. Thank you. Your cooperation has been noted. So there. Managed to take out a heavy cruiser. It was not exactly the best heavy cruiser. I suppose it was probably the best if you wanted to try and bust up a battleship. Our type plasma torpedoes, if one had actually managed to hit, it would have done a decent amount of damage. It probably wouldn't have gotten through our reinforced shields, but uh, we won't tell him that because it'll give him hope. And another patrol. Currently working on stomping out the last two sectors of resistance. Romulans raiding our uh, colonies. Well, there's no colonies out here, but you get the idea. We, of course, are declaring red alert, increase the forward shields to the maximum level, and turn off that stupid point defense system, which has wasted us plasma torpedoes in the past that we do not wish to waste. No targets as of yet, however, one will show up here, and one will show probably show up here. That's my bet, anyway. Although they are down to, well, two tiles, so they may not have a whole lot of cash left to spend on uh, fielding anything per mission. And nothing on sensors. In case speed of time, there we go, we've got a light cruiser. And again, it appears to be a, uh, a Romulan a Romulan technology transfer design. So it is a D5, one of the better looking uh, light cruisers. The D5s are actually really good light cruisers on the Klingon side. I like them quite a bit. I think they're very well balanced for what they do. Uh, unfortunately, uh, well, and the Romulan one is pretty good too. But unfortunately, he probably won't survive. Stop shooting. Don't waste, don't waste your weapons. Wow, he's got an R-type plasma torpedo. That's pretty impressive. He's got two R-type plasma torpedoes. Even more impressive. We're going to really start slowing down here. And I'll stop here. We did take the one. The second one... Ooh, went after our buddy. Okay, uh, that's fine. Wait for your defense shift to go away. 
Come on, almost there. Almost there. Come on. Oh, weapons fire. Goodbye. <laughs> nice to know you. Yeah, you put that much plasma onto a single light cruiser. Well, ain't nothing coming back from that. Sorry, goodbye, my friend. You tried, and uh, you did not succeed. We are just launching our way through these battles today. Which I suppose is fine, because, you know, there's only one tile left. Last tile. Hi, patrol. We have no data w that we wish to recover. There will be no survivors. The Romulan Star Empire will be completely wiped out, and there will be no one to speak of their legacy. All hail the dinosaur overlords. So, full shields. Prep a wild weasel. We're down to seven. So, we're at half the number of wild weasels that we uh, could potentially have. And what... That, the shield button is what, the one I wanted. Increase our speed to a standard cruising speed. And still no enemies on scope. Increase the speed of time. Because why not? At this point, well... Ooh! Ha-ha! We have something fun planned for the fat last one, it seems. C9XM, a C10. Ooh! Okay, so this is a proper battleship right here. So we have a real fight on our hands, which is, I suppose, astonishingly good for the last tile that we face up something quite so powerful. This C-10 battleship is no doubt our equal. Uh, the C-9 is, well, quite well kitted out as well, I'd imagine. Uh, send a probe his way. Hi, friend. Uh, and we'll find out exactly what we're squaring off against. We're going to have to be quick because they are pretty close formation. Uh, we're looking mainly for Plasma Ds because if we can deploy our own pseudo fighters, we'll be in great shape. So C-10X will be equipped with... Oh! These are Klingons! Point defense online. So this is not actually the Romulans. This is the Klingon Defense Force that has managed to show up for a final last-ish effort to save the Romulans. How adorable. Drop down a point of speed. I want a point of ECM to handle their disruptor accuracy. But they don't have any plasma torpedoes. They don't have any cloak. My fire only. Lock on to the C-10. We're going to kill it in one stroke. We're all lined up and ready to fight. Forward shields to maximum reinforcement. Let their light disruptor fire do what it may. Make sure you keep your phasers on point defense mode. I don't want to see any ships destroyed because they get shot at by a whole bunch of missiles. Although they will be able to put out an astonishing number of missiles. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. I want to make sure that he dumps the Wild Weasel because of this. Slow down more. Start slow down more. Point defense systems are engaging. Is he going to eat it? He ate it right on the nose. Second plasma torpedo fire. And that got the Wild Weasel deployed. Um, yeah. Where's his Wild Weasel? Slow down. You, target. I can't target you. I have no phasers. <laughs> I have no phasers! There we go. Targeted. Uh, so I'm going to fire at you momentarily. You will not be able to defend yourself, and it will kill you. Sorry, but that's just the way this works. Yeah, this will kill him. I'm sure of it. I was wrong. I was sure, and I was wrong. So let's increase our speed. You may fire when you are ready. And let's get out of here. I don't want to be right in front of him. Huh, never mind. The Phaser threes handled him. No problem at all. And he had the other half of his weaponry, which could fire out to his... Uh, Stern and Wild Weasel handled it all. Unfortunately, he's taken some damage. Uh, his, yeah, he lost this shield. And he dropped this shield to beam out mines, and he's going to take a little bit of damage because of that. I'm disappointed because you decided to take damage. Fortunately, however, this shield is completely gone, and we are parting off in two different directions, which means he can't actually bring a shield to face us that uh, we won't be able to avoid. Looks like he's focusing on the BBX, which I suppose makes a certain amount of sense. It is the more powerful shield. We'll fire a plasma torpedo. Hopefully it'll get through that hole. And it looks like he's suffering from the common problem of Klingon power issues. Slow down. Slow down more. Keep firing. Uh, at point blank range, right on top of him. At this range, you can't launch missiles. Yeah, when you're this close to the enemy, you physically can't fire the missiles. Believe me, we, we learned that in the Mirac campaign. You got right on top of the enemy and it was no bueno for missiles. All right, let's turn away. We have a couple more phasers to get involved here. Laying into those weak rear coils. 
plinking away as best as we can, it would be tempting to deploy a uh, group of pseudo fighters, and I think we're going to do exactly that. Kill. Go, my little pretties. Kill him as best as you can. Get your shields up so you don't get, you know, killed if he suddenly dies, like right now. Our defense shift is, of course, positive, making it more difficult to hit us. And they are moving in on their final attack course. Plasma torpedoes are almost ready. We'll have an R-type plasma torpedo to go right in on his stern. We'll see if this baits out a, a uh, shuttle. It did not. So we'll fire an R-type plasma torpedo as we come around. That'll have to get through this shield, but oh, the waves of plasma we can put out. Oh, it's just beautiful. The simple fact of the matter is that this end of the galaxy has a hard time dealing with us. And that's mission complete. Right there, a final duel against Klingon Dreadnoughts. But it was not meant to be. The Romulan Star Empire, ladies and gentlemen, is no more. Gone from the map is the dark green of the Romulan Star Empire, replaced by the brown of the level-headed clever, cold-blooded dinosaur people of the Gorn. That, ladies and gentlemen, will wrap it up for Season 6. We came, we saw, we destroyed. There shall be no more space Romans in this galaxy. Uh, however, uh, the next interlude episode, of course, we're going to have the, uh, the mission where we get the final ca cataclysmic battle between battleships and X-type vessels. Of course, we're going to have that. We have that at the end of everyone. But uh, there's only a single skirmish mission. So, yeah. We're going to have to figure out what to do because the, there's only one special mission for the Gorn. It's the Wreck. And uh, we will, of course, play it. But I'm not 100% sure of what I want to do with that episode because this is going up on Monday, I think. And uh, when that happens, uh, then it'll be Tuesday and Wednesday to take up the skirmish mission and the cataclysmic fi final battle. And uh, that leaves us two days until Friday. So we'll have to come up with something to do on Thursday and then expect the beginning of the Lyran campaign all the way up here to begin on a Friday. And who will be our target? Why, none other than our evil nemesis, the Marak Star League. Yes, we're going to fight this battle from the complete opposite end of the dimension. I thought about going after the Hydrons. I really did. But we fought the Hydrons before. We've never fought against the Marak. We've only, you know, fought as the Marak. So I'd rather fight the enemy that we haven't fought yet with the Lyrans, rather than just a redux of conquering Hydran space. So uh, starting on likely Friday of this week, it will be the Lyran Star Empire or against the Marak Star League, with us playing as the kitty cat people, the Lyrans, or the dog people, depending on your description of it. Anyway... I've been Tarek. I hope you've had a good time. I certainly have. We're going to keep on chugging with this with these seasons. If you enjoyed what you've been seeing, hit that like button. Subscribe. Did you enjoy this campaign? What did you like? What didn't you like? Just, just give me a sense of how you felt about how things were going out. Because I thought the Gorn campaign went absolutely swimmingly. Anyway, I've been Tarek. If you like what you've seen, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release, this, release an episode, press that little bell icon. Leave that comment, like I said, and I will see you all in the next episode.